people, my name is Tia Fabian Tonka and you're welcome to yet another episode of the Crystal Beauty Show. You know how we have it here, we have a lot of fun, happiness and everything. And today I'm here with a very fine gentleman who is no other person than me to hold it a secret so that he gets to introduce himself. Good afternoon, Mr. Wajin. <laughs> good afternoon, my brother. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. So please, can you tell our viewers who we are talking to today? Wow. Okay, uh, you are talking to Wajubi, the Lamso Miss Warrior. CEO and founder of Wajo Lifestyle Entertainment and Construction Family. Wow, <laughs> that's some sort of an intro. Wow, thank you. The Lamso Warrior, so you're a warrior. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, uh, Wajubi, please, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Ah, okay, uh, Wajubi here is from uh, uh, from the Northwest region of Cameroon, okay. precisely in the South Division. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. So, what do you do? What does Wajubi do? Okay, Wajubi is a is a tiles uh, construction technician okay. and uh, a musician as well. A registered musician under the Ministry of Art and Culture Cameroon. That is that, that's <laughs> really nice. A registered musician. So if you do not know, musicians can actually get registered. Now, tell me, how do you manage the two? When I hear I hear tiles construction and I hear a musician, I, I don't think that's something that's actually really good. So how do you manage your time for the two? Uh, actually. Uh, before I before I was giving it, I was, I was giving so much time for the tires construct, construction because it was my source of finance okay. to finance my career. And presently, that my career is making more more, more busier. My technicians uh, the handle the part of the construction, so okay. I. That, I that, think that, that's yeah, very interesting. interesting. I, I love the I love the fact that he says <laughs> my technicians, which means he has people working under you. That's really nice. Thing. So, um, uh, when did you start doing music, what you be? I came into music uh, 2014 personally and uh, doing music professionally is uh, since uh, 2019. Okay, that's nice. I love the longevity, <laughs> which means that you're very interesting. So, well, so you've been doing music for like 20, for like from 2014 to right up to now. That's yeah. a really long time. How's the journey, how's the journey been? It has been a very big challenge and, uh, and uh, also one thing that has helped me uh, to uh, to achieve and to to overcome some of these challenges is because I I realized at the early stage of uh, my music uh, my my purpose into music mm -hmm. I realized that so early so I had to give in my focus so in that particular direction I I, I know who my target audience were and how I could what I could create and how I could reach them with my music so oh, it makes the journey a little easier for me okay but we do. We do still we, we, like we have a lot of ch the challenges we normally face now is uh, we know how to finance our projects and um, things like that. You know, as kids, our parents were just like, ah, why do you have no music? <laughs> yeah, <well>, pass. <laughs> you will be a lawyer. So did you get these things back when you were growing up? Yeah, uh, you know, I when it concerned music, I couldn't raise that when I was back home because I know they turned out until okay. I had to come to Boya to fight for my own to also for my own I stand and say like last one man I yeah. fight for my own <laughs> understand so yeah when yeah. I came for my own then I discovered that uh, the passion in music is taking over so I start uh, started visiting studios and okay. mingling with uh, musicians. Oh. I couldn't raise that at home man <laughs> okay. <club> war. <laughs> Judging from um your your music uh, the ones that we've listened to it shows that you actually uh, chose a part of tradition, that is most of your music are usually mostly traditional and more of a mix, a blend of uh, modern music and uh, traditional music. So why do you think uh, that part is really the best? Yeah, you know, uh, like uh, African, mm -hmm. African, uh, like Cameroonian, and like someone coming from South, we have to like uh, doing something cultural, it is your identity, mm -hmm. it, it identifies you. And uh, where I come from, my people appreciate so much. Appreciate when uh, you uh, when you when when you uh, bring the works of art in a cultural, you know, traditional way. Mm -hmm. They will very much find them, identify themselves into it. And also, I I had to blend it with the uh, with uh, with some other kinds of music because uh, the the art should not be limited to a particular group of people okay. to a particular community because yeah. it's all about uh, the message. And uh, the message is for the world, not for the particular community. So yes. So um, uh, what you?
Tell me, what is your biggest inspiration as an artist? So people will say, I need to, you know, wait for the rain to start falling, or I'll need to see my girlfriend, or I'll see my wife, then I can write, or whatever. So what is your biggest inspiration as an artist? But, uh, <laughs> that's a beautiful one. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay I, I, left the, I left the comfort of my parents when I was about uh, 10, 11 years old. And uh, ever since I've been living with uh, different kind of people, people from different backgrounds, and and I have uh, experienced the challenges they face, they face, especially when it comes to issues of of things like conflicts and misunderstandings. So okay. it becomes a cause of concern to me, especially uh, in the circle of peace, and you know when they have issues and misunderstanding and it becomes a cause of concern and, and also with the, the ongoing Anglophone crisis and, yeah, the, yeah. and the crisis going on too in other African countries okay. yeah, it, uh, it, uh, for me, uh, it, I, I like an artist decide to advocate for peace and that is my inspiration. Okay, that's <laughs> nice. An advocate for peace. That is really, really beautiful. So, beautiful people, we have had um, a wajobi on this first section, and it's really been awesome and nice. We're going to take a breather, then we'll be right back. Okay, beautiful people, you are back to the biggest, baddest show in town, the Crystal Beauty Show. I remain your very own Tiafak M. Tonka, and we are here on my favorite part of the show. And this time, I already see Mr. Wajobi shaking on his chair. This is my favorite part of Wajobi. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason you're smiling is because you don't know what is coming your way. Okay. Okay, so. Who's ready? Yeah. Here on the Crystal Beauty Show, we have this very, very interesting game that we usually play. It's called the. Cup questions and I like to call it the crystal cup. It's always very nice to me. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, what you be? The rules are very simple. You send your hand to the cup, you pick a question and you read aloud to the hearing of the viewers. Then you answer as honestly as you can. So, are we ready? Mm. No, you're ready. Yeah, you're ready. <laughs> you're <laughs> born ready. Uh, okay, so I'm going to shuffle uh, it. Shuffle it a little bit. And, uh, Take one question, Maju. The question is very long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me see what I have here. Um. Ah, uh, this one is a very simple one. Oh. Fe favorite clothes. Oh, okay, that's nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love uh, t-shirt, jeans, and yeah. Okay, that's very nice. <laughs> so good. I, I love wearing t-shirts. Okay. So we're going to dive into the second question. Okay. Please, this cop, you know, okay. don't don't feel me. Don't feel me. I'm always very. Multi here. Uh, yeah. The covers are already. Okay, very long answer again. Uh, you drink alcohol. Oh, do you drink alcohol? Do you drink alcohol? Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> a little because <laughs> <little, laughs> alcohol makes me sick. So when he says he says he says he drinks a little bit a of alcohol. Little, a little, a oh, little. Well. <laughs> Are you sure? Just small. <laughs> that is not what you do. Just tell me. <laughs> okay, alcohol makes you sick. Yeah. Okay, that's very interesting. So we're going to go to the third and the final question. Yeah. Please, this call has been nice so far. It's okay. time for you to <laughs> Yes, this is, this is the final question. Trust me, there's nothing coming again. It should be lunch now. Let me win. Let me win a uh, trip to America. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, Player or lawyer? Oh, okay, that's the reason I like. So, are you a player or a lawyer? Uh, or a lawyer person. Don't bother. This who, one is, you know, this one is confusing. <laughs> okay, are you player? Are you a bird? Are, are, are you a playboy? Or you're just ah, okay, person? okay. Playboy. I think I I'll go with uh, a lawyer. I I I. You, with your player, which house? No, no, I'm just I'm just a player. You're a player. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I can't. No, no, it's not like I'm lawyer. I can be lawyer. Okay, you can be lawyer. Yeah, okay, now it's easy to say some truth. Yeah. And because there's a camera in front of us, I'm sure you don't want to. I can be lawyer. Okay. 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 
<laughs> okay, it's been fun, but it's time for us to get back to business. So, uh, Mr. Wajabi, tell us, what on the street? You know, on the Crystal Beauty Show, we always have first hand information. You know, we have uh, people out there digging and everything. So, so what on the street says that uh, Mr. Wajabi is working on a project? I don't want to be the one who says that I hear say them talk. See? So, what is it all about? Well, like uh, an artist advocating for peace. I... Oh, artist advocating for peace. Yeah. Very interesting. So, uh, Tell us about it. So, uh, with the state of our nation, uh, with the state of our country, Cameroon, okay. uh, uh, the Northwest and the Southwest, uh, the crisis they're going through, we launched this our peace campaign. That was uh, that was uh, last month on the twenty sixth of uh, the twenty sixth last month uh, in Boya. And uh, the campaign that uh, we were doing a video launch, which uh, was titled A Letter to My People, which is a song for peace advocacy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that platform was a platform for, uh, for peace campaign. Okay. Yes, and uh, during the preparation for that, uh, for that event, we, ha we, uh, we, we received call and a lot of young people reach out from the reach out to us, uh, men like uh, Asking us how they can uh, yeah. develop their talent, okay. and also with experience we have been into in a street like Yaoundé, uh, Douala, Bavusan, even here in Buya, and we have noticed that there are a lot of talented young young Cameroonians out there, and also they have a lot of challenges like they don't know how to create way to way to create how way to create and how to create their music. You know, and all these things they circulate around the the, 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 the yes, and also the the financial part of it. Yeah, yeah. That's so we the Wajula Lifestyle Entertainment have decided that uh, we are going to uh, we are going for a project where we can uh, create a, a music uh, a musical studio and uh, a musical studio where we can bring these young people together and uh, help them. Uh, Cook them, develop their talent, and also we invited some of these some of these artists from Yaoundé and Douala, and some from Boya to come join us on this platform. And we realized that many of them are very qualified. We are very qualified for our platform because in, through their music, they are advocating for peace, and yeah. and actually our audience were very touched. So yeah. we have decided that we will be uh, we will be. Uh, Looking for a, a recreational studio. Okay. Uh, we, we, we try to create a, studio, a music studio where we can uh, help and to develop and produce uh, some of this talent, and also we and also to create a platform where they can reach out their audience. And I, and I think uh, with the support of the Ministry of Art and Culture, the Minister of Art and Culture, and uh, the organization concerned, and also the well wishers, why not the uh, Minister of uh, Youth Empowerment, if they can come uh, together and uh, support us on this journey, we'll be able to, to help and develop this uh, uh, young talent and also give them a future in, in, the, in the, the various uh, careers and um, I mean, see them through their dreams. We have a couple of songs like the, we have like Let Thy Will Be Done, okay. then we have, uh, we have Let Thy Will Be Done, we have the, re, the, re, uh, uh, the Reconciliation songs, okay. yeah, yeah, and then Tears in Our Eyes, you know. Okay, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, 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 that's really interesting, that's, 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 yeah. that's really nice. So, you know, our viewers are going to agree with me with, on this. We cannot have the legendary Wajobi sit on our, <laughs> sit on our chairs and enjoy the fresh air that we are breathing and go without blessing up with something. At least give us at least a one minute demo of what you can do as a musician. You know, a rap or singing. Or something. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will, I will, I would like I will uh, touch a little of uh, two of our release. Okay. Like. <clears throat> He don't too much, oh. he don't too much, the accidents are killing. He don't too much, oh. he don't too much, oh. my mommy, yeah. he don't too much, oh. he don't too much, the Ambro Prince are killing. He don't too much, oh. he don't too much, oh. my papa, yeah. and then we have it is alright, it's peace that we need, love and care. Freedom. Oh. <laughs> it is alright. It's peace that we need. Love and care. Freedom. So, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's really beautiful. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah.
So I'm um, uh, watching people about rounding up right now, and this part I don't really like about the show, okay. but we <laughs> actually have to do it. So any last words for your viewers? You know, there's somebody out there who's you know the pen and the paper saying that okay, I want to have something for watching me. What do you uh, tell them? Okay, actually, uh, what I will want to tell our viewers is uh, be a, be a peace preacher in your wherever you're watching from. Be a peace preacher, be a good leader, and let's join together and build a beautiful world, which will be build a beautiful world for for us and the generations to come. Okay, be a peace builder. Let's put our hands together and build a beautiful world. Okay, um, uh, what you be? A lot of people have heard you sing, the heard you talk, and most of them are inspired. So, where can we find what you be? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you can reach us uh, on Facebook. On my page, Wajobi, and then uh, you can also reach us same on Facebook for account. You can have Wajobi in your Okay. And then uh, to our Instagram is uh, still the same Wajobi in your And then on YouTube is Wajobi. And then also you can reach us to our numbers like six five four team eight one forty two. Okay. So <laughs> those are the handles of uh, Mr. Wajobi. Yeah. It has really been an awesome time with you here on set. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. I remember your very own Tiafa M Talker and we are rounding up from the Crystal Beauty Show. Remember to follow us on our pages, all on the Crystal Beauty Show. And please, if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to press that uh, subscribe and be a fan. <laughs> Thank you very much, listeners, and it's a wrap.